PK and Mass Juice here from Team The. And I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video like by myself. And here it is, an updated Medolce deck profile. And I am indeed running the new rank 5 Medolce Pudding Sis Chocolate a la mode along with the regular one. So enjoy this new take on this very sweet deck. Let us begin. The first card of the deck and the star, Medolce Pudding Sis. Just one copy. Let's put her there. Then we move on to three Mew Fuels. Let's let the camera focus. There we go. Three Mew Fuels. Our additional summoner. He lets us get out everybody else, like Hoot Cake. Hoot Cake is probably the second most powerful card in the deck. It might be the best when because he comes out after an Angeli summon. And then Angeli becomes the fuel for Hoot Cake to summon another monster. Messengelotto, which allows us to grab our Medoche Spell and Trap cards from the deck whenever we want them. Three copies, just in case I draw into one. The others are live. Now the final Medoche card of the deck, or monster, is Magelline. She just helps us start. If our hands are slow, we can grab our necessary pieces. You know, either a Mewfiel, if we already have a Hoot Cake in hand, or an Angeli. Anything we need, Magelline serves a purpose. Level 4, very important because it allows us to make our queen. And now the final non Medoche monster of the deck are just simply two effect veilers. I chose the veilers just because I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, they, I need a card to help versus the current meta, and I guess veilers the best choice there. Now on to spells and traps. First up, two copies of Medoche Chateau. Whatever the Medoches would be returned back to the deck, I can grab them back to my hand. Gives them a 500 point boost. And when it is first initially activated, it sends all Medoches in the graveyard into the deck. And that actually, that effect helps trigger the ticket. And which ticket allows us to grab a Medoche from the deck whenever one, is sh one would be shuffled or is shuffled. I can search for one. And if I have a Medoche Fairy type monster on the field, I can special summon from the deck instead. So they go hand in hand. Very good. So two and two. Now for the support spells. T double instant fusion for our rank five pudding sess. The mystical space typhoon, just to help clear the way for our, our guys to get in safe. For Breeding Chalice, effect negation always good. This deck has is heavily built on effect negation. We don't want monsters like, you know, that pesky Trishula or stellar knights to search you know it's just good one, one copy along with our one book of moon which we can only play one but I don't know why I said that and our final card is the all powerful regeki to round off the spells for the traps double mirror force double breakthrough skill to co help complement the effect veiler veilers and the forbidden chalice double utility right here now skill prisoner I'm trying this card out this is to help our effects to go through. Double use, great card. Medosha Palooza, searchable by Miss Gelato, along with our Chateau and Ticket. Now Palooza actually serves very well with Pudding Sess, and I'll show that at the end with like small combos I have discovered. Now for our limited traps, we have Compulsory Evacuation Device, Solemn Warning, Bottomless Trap Hole, Torrential Tribute and Ring of Destruction. My favorite trap card is now back with an errata, but still, very nice that I can play this. Now we move on to the extra deck. On to the extra deck. First, we have our rank 5 Minoshe Pudding Sis Chocolate All Mode. Earth Attributed requires two level 5 Earth Monsters and its fairy type. Now to effect. You can also exceed some of this card by using a rank 4 lower Medoche Exceed monster you control as the Exceed material. The exceed materials attached to, the, to that monster also become Exceed materials onto this card. Once per turn, you can target one Medoche card in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck. While this card has, ex has a Medoche Pudding Sis as Exceed material, when the Medoche card in your graveyard is shuffled into the main deck, except during the damage step, you can detach one material from this card, spin some of the one Medoche monster from your deck in attack position or face down defense position. Alright, that's a lot of effects text on just one pudding says. Stop looking at me like that pudding says. Stop it. Now 
he can be summoned obviously by putting her above tiramisu but since this deck is dedicated to bringing her out we have ways to get two level five earth monsters onto the field obviously one being the regular pudding sis so we can take a, take advantage of her full effect because if you only put her over tiramisu the only effect you get is the shuffling Medosha's back into the main deck. You don't get the special summon. So we want to get we want a special summon. Why wouldn't you want a special summon? Now also the rest of the rank fours and threes and the fusions. I won't explain the rest of the choices much because they've been in deck profiles before. I had some in the past and yeah, let's just go. Two Queen Tiramisu's our boss monster. She's she's amazing. Her effect is in target. Ridiculous card. Two copies. Number 101, Summon Honor Arc, and Castell, the Sky Blaster Musketeer, along with Diamond Dire Wolf. They help clear the way for pesky card to get out of there. Plus, Diamond Dire Wolf serves some cool utility since the deck does run beast time monsters like Mew Fuel and Hoot Cake. Continuing off with some Katobingu. Katobingu, you know, you must catchphrase. I don't know how to say it, I suck. Whatever. Gaga got Samurai and Gaga got Cowboy. They both have good effects. Samurai helps us protect our monsters. Can attack twice. Helps the deck OTK. Because it can OTK. Cowboy lets us run over certain monsters in a, while in attack position. And in defense position, the infamous Cowboy for game. To round off our rank 4s, we have Abyss Dweller. And number 80, Rhapsody in Berserk. Disruption exceeds. Very good. Rank 3s. Just... Three of them, three for three, Ghost Trick Alucard, Levier the Sea Dragon, and MX Saber Invoker. Sea Dragon and Invoker, extra summons, allows our fields to end up with Tiramisu, and Pudding Cess, and a bunch of other fun stuff that can happen. And Alucard just clears pesky set cards. Now onto our instant fusion target, Soul 5 Earth, Practical. When have you ever seen this monster? This dinosaur. It's like, what? It's a McDonald's promo. And yeah, I needed an Earth level 5 and it's the only one I had. Because I failed hard with Ojama Knight thinking it was Earth. But it's light. Now, Fusionist or Fusinador. Beast type helps Dire Wolf. If you're in a dire situation, I'll stop. <laughs> Our fusion monsters, everybody. Now I'll show some weird combos slash tricks this deck has because it's the chocolate island mode version and we're running pudding sis. Now the first question is, since we're running a level 5 monster and we're not really tribute summoning, what do we do when we draw it? Well this is the one hand I drew through testing where I realized I can somewhat salvage, salvage my hand and salvage the duel. So I'll begin with this and it's a pretty gimmicky play but it's pretty funny actually so let's begin so we have Palooza, instant fusion pudding says and two unknown cards since it's our first turn so what we do is we would set the palooza and if these two cards help us you know if they're spells or traps that can stop attacks and prevent this from being an MST target you can set them too so I'll just pretend they are so I'll set that and I'll keep these two in hand so my opponent goes on his turn you know hopefully he doesn't blow up my field so I'll draw, I'll put the card face down since it's not needed, no. So then we'll flip over the Palooza. Palooza go! Out comes our Pudding Cess, hits the field, and there's an ice cream truck going by, so it kind of goes with the Madolce theme. So Pudding Cess is on board. Now we'll pay a thousand life points for our instant fusion to summon our practical to make this the practicalest play ever. So there we go. Two level 5 earth monsters out on the field. Will exceed summon in the chocolate a la mode. There we go. That's one way to summon it out of your hand. Get rid of pudding says and you end up with a 2500 beater. Now for a more ideal scenario. So this requires four cards and the one mystery card is irrelevant. So Mewfuel, Magellane, Instant Fusion yet again, and Magellan Shay said ticket. Ticket. So this is our first turn. So obviously you have five cards. So we'll summon Magellan. We'll use her effect, get a copy of Angeli straight from the deck. Here we go, we have Angeli add it to our hand. And let's assume the mystery card is like a protection stopper. 
or something like that. So we'll set that and we'll play Medosha Ticket. So that's our first turn. Now, Worth is all assuming the Magdalene survives on the field, which might happen depending on what you draw. So Magdalene stays on board, survives. So now on your turn, you draw. Again, card is irrelevant. So now we go off, summon Magdalene, special summon the Angeli. Boom, there she is. We'll use Angeli's effect to launch, send tribute to the graveyard or sender. So summon Hoot Cake. So there's our field. You feel Magdalene Hoot Cake. So now we'll use Hoot Cake's effect to banish the Angeli to special summon Pudding Cess. Now here is where the deck makes its own unique version of the standard play so that's why the pudding sis allows for this combo to happen again the deck can make the normal Medosha plays but for the sake of the deck profile this is the one that I found out through test drawing and all that other good stuff so we have pudding sis on the field so now that's where the instant fusion comes in handy so we'll play the instant fusion we'll fusion summon our practical so now we have the two Level 5 Earth, see it again. We exceed. It's a chocolate a la mode. So we're going to have chocolate a la mode. Piss up on the field. This is not even here anymore. Now that we have these, we will overlay our two level 3s into Levy Air. Levy Air's effect will detach, let's just say, who kick. Because it is kind of important. Oh, you know, you never know what you have. To resummon re Angeli. So we have Levier, Magdalene, Angeli, and all the mode. Pudding says. Now we can make our queen. So we make our queen right here. Little Shaquin here in Misu. Since obviously it is our second turn of the duel, our opponent has cards on the field. You never know what they were. But yeah, let's use the effect. We use her effect. We'll detach. So let's just send back Angeli. Send her back. Ticket will activate due to having fairy type Medoshas on the field. So we're going to special summon a messenger lotto. Now we'll only send back one card due to allowing us to activate Ala Mode's effect. So without using an exceed material, we'll just shuffle back this hoot cake back into the deck. So bam, we put it back, you know, shuffle, do all that back to the deck. Now since the Medosha was shuffled back in, we can then detach an exceed material. So we'll detach this practical since we want to keep putting this there for future use. So practical is back gone. Now we special summon. I'll choose Magdalene for this example just to make the field more a little bit diverse and make it look nice. So our field is now Levier the Sea Dragon, Tiramisu, Mission Gelato, Ala Mode, and Magdalene. That's a total of 9,300 points of damage on the field. This concludes the deck profile of Ala Mode, Madoshe Pudding Sis Chaka Ala Mode, this version of Madoshe by PK Min Master Juice from Team The. Once again, thank you for watching. I'll listen to any feedback you give me in the comment section below. Like the video any way you want to give me support, give Team The support. I'm looking to bring more deck profiles in the future. Working on Ritual Beast and very way deep end Melodious. I have no idea how I'm going to build that deck, but I'm going to try to bring it to Team The. So, once again, thanks for watching.